Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Starner, and on the rare occasions when I introduce myself as such, I am quick to point out that I am the kind of doctor that typically doesn't earn much money. You see, it's an academic doctorate, not a medical doctorate. Can I hear an amen from some of the teachers out there? The truth is, I've spent well over three decades in university classrooms teaching students the contents of the New Testament, the language in which it was written, and the skills to interpret it faithfully. Now, I'm telling you this not to toot my own horn, but to give you a good measure of confidence that what I am about to recommend to you has been informed by many decades of New Testament scholarship. Let's just say, I've been around the block so many times I've worn grooves in the concrete. Look, the point is this. As a lifelong academician, I think it's pretty safe to say that I know a little something about books. Just saying. So let me cut to the chase. I'm here to recommend to you a magnificent set of daily devotionals published under the title the Chosen 40 Days with Jesus. These devotionals are closely connected with what has been the single largest crowdfunded television series in human history, a series that by intention shares the name The Chosen as its title. If you're not familiar with this TV series, where in the world have you been? Now, I'll share my thoughts on the TV series in another video. For now, let me just say that I believe The Chosen has set the gold standard for what all subsequent films about the life and teachings of Jesus should strive to match. But I digress. Let me give you here several reasons why I recommend engaging, not simply reading, engaging with The Chosen. 40 Days with Jesus by Amanda Jenkins, Kristen Hendricks, and Dallas Jenkins. Number one, I love the packaging. Great colors on the cover, uh, and it has the look and feel of genuine leather. Maybe it is. And I also like the size. In my view, it's perfect. It's a little manual that kind of fits in your hand really easily, and it has even a, a ribbon bookmark to hold your place so you don't forget where you were the day before. I'm becoming mighty forgetful in my older age. So that really helps a lot. Even the pages are made to look old, and I can really identify with that. Actually, there is more method than madness to this because it reminds us that when we go to the Bible, we are going to an ancient book. It reminds us that we're entering an ancient world, a different time in history, a different culture with different values and customs, and we had better use cautions in the conclusions that we draw from these stories. Number two, the devotionals are a convenient length. All of them can be read thoughtfully in well under 10 minutes. Surely this is sustainable for nearly everyone. Number three, the writing style is contemporary and engaging. They are written from the posture of a fellow pilgrim, a fellow struggler, not some highfalutin, condescending muckety-muck. No, someone most readers can really identify with. Number four, the devotionals give evidence of a sound understanding of Orthodox Christian theology, as well as a familiarity with some very popular theological misconceptions, which they disarmingly and quite often playfully dismantle. Number five, the devotionals are consistently text-based. They are not 
five steps to this, six steps to that, as helpful as these kind of things can be. These particular devotionals draw us into the events and the circumstances described in the individual stories of the Gospels. If Christians are right in affirming the divine inspiration of the Bible, then readers actually have an encounter with God whenever they engage with the scriptures. And that's what happens in this devotional. We simply have everything to gain by engaging with God. Number six, each devotional has a prayer focus section. This is what is meant by engaging with God. We are not reading Aesop's fables. We are reading God's message. And the prayer section is not simply asking God to do something. Often, it is thanking him for what he's already done. And sometimes we need a little reminder as to the things that God really has done for us. Number seven, each devotional has a moving forward section that asks probing questions that really cause us to examine our own lives in light of what we've read. Number eight, these devotionals model a fruitful way to read the New Testament. They model a method of interpretation whereby readers experience experience the stories by putting themselves into the shoes, well, sandals, of the different characters or character groups that interacted with Jesus. We learn to consider what they must have felt and why they reacted to Jesus and to one another in the ways that they did. And we're encouraged to imagine ourselves in their places. How would we have felt? How would we have reacted? But most importantly, the writers of the chosen devotional have challenged us to respond personally to the same challenges that Jesus and his inspired gospel writers brought to their original hearers. Number nine. The devotionals focus entirely on the responsibilities ooh, of every Christian as a Christ follower or disciple. You know, the word disciple speaks to most moderns as identical to student, typically learning some kind of content. Follower is a much easier word to track if you'll pardon the pun. You are either following in his footsteps or you are blazing a different trail. And good luck on that one. You see, the point is, we are not just learning concepts. We are trying to model a life. Number 10, like the television series, these devotionals and video episodes have a laser focus on one primary fact. You have been chosen by God for eternal life with him. You are a somebody with meaning and purpose. You're not a somebody because you found your name in a telephone book, like the jerk of Steve Martin's feature film. You're not a somebody because your name is written on some movie marquee. You're a somebody because you are chosen by God for eternal life with him. I cannot think of a more important fact to have seared into my psyche than that. God loves you. He wants you. He chose you. 
That's what the TV series offers you. That's what these devotionals offer you. I urge you, pick up your copies today and commit yourself to daily engaging with God, with these wonderful devotionals as your faithful spirit-led guide. I'm Rob Starner, and I approve of this message.